told me love was only in the movies that don't exist in real life these days, no. But you showed me if I only just find the faith I need to believe. If anything is possible, if you want it bad enough, know this guy ain't too high. Test your limits. Feel unstoppable, incredible. Almost there, I can see I'm so ready. What the hell? I am so confused. Guys, um, is there cameras around here? Am I getting pranked right now? I am so confused right now. I'm actually speechless. And I'm sorry, I look like shit. I literally just woke up. My grandma told me to come outside because there was a big ass box at our front gate. Okay, let me try to break it down for you guys. But I know you're gonna be confused like me, so let's try to solve this together. Okay, so there's this big ass box right here, right? And inside the box, there's like doggy, um, what do you call it? Doggy uh, necessities, you can call it. And they left a note, right? I already read the note. This is why I'm even more confused. So let me read the note for you guys so you understand why I'm so confused. So the first page says, Happy Second Birthday, Princess L." Okay, L's birthday was um, a couple weeks ago. So that's confusing itself. Okay, here we go, the second page. Hey Ace family, we are so sorry for our timing. We know it's late, but we watched your second video as soon as it went up and it touched our hearts. So we decided to give Princess L with one of our puppies. So this is where it gets confusing. So the note says they left a puppy here for L, for us, right? But guys, there's no puppy here. Where is the puppy? This is actually making me kind of scared because a puppy is gone. Like a puppy is either someone stole the puppy, the puppy got out on accident and is lost. Like this is actually kind of scary. I don't know what to say, let's, let's continue. Her name is Nala, but it can be changed to whatever you like. She turns two next month and next week she will need her two month shots. Okay, so she is a baby baby. Guys, I'm not gonna read like everything they said because it is kind of like personal and I don't want to put them out there like that. Um, but to like sum it up, they said they drove like hours to drop this dog off and to gift L with this dog. Um, but we need to find out where this dog even is. Like, I feel like asking the neighbors. But I don't know, because that's weird. Like going up saying, hey, did you... Did you see a dog that's not ours? I don't know what to do. Catherine and Elle are about to freak out. Um, uh, uh, Ace family, I know we told you guys that, you know, we were in the works of looking, you know, to adopt a dog, um, but not dropping a dog off at our house but i must say this was definitely a nice gesture like it was sweet of whoever it was to drop off a puppy and surprise us but not like this so i'm gonna have my grandmother call this number and figure out what's going on and i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i'm gonna tell the girls because if they find out a puppy was dropped off here at the house in a box and it's no longer in the box all right, guys, so Catherine just asked about the box, so I had to tell her, and now we're all freaking out, trying to find the dog. We're gonna have my grandma call the number that they left and try to get to the bottom of this. So we'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, guys, so I know that Austin already broke down everything to you guys, but we just wanna let you know what's going on. So grandma just got off the phone with the person who dropped off the dog. So we definitely know that the dog came last night, which is good to know. Now we're just wondering when the dog left the box or or when the dog disappeared from the box or when someone grabbed the dog. So we don't know whether it was this morning or last night. So that's our confusion right now. 
and we're at the point where we're like really really stressed out because we really want to know if the dog is okay they said that the dog breed is a German Shepherd and Husky so that's what we're looking for it's a puppy um, she's gonna be two months in a week so that's what we know so far. Um, it's brown. It's light brown. Like a and light white. brown. She sent us a video, so we saw like exactly what she looks like. And uh, right now, we just have to kind of like, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we should put like signs in the neighborhood or something. We'll probably go ask the neighbors, like I said yeah. earlier. What's wrong? You What's sad? What's wrong? It was sad. What's wrong, my love? Why are you sad? You want to see the puppy? Huh? We yeah. told her that there's a puppy, that we're looking for a puppy, and I feel like she knows what's going on. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh my god! She's a baby! Oh my god! She's a baby! Who had her? The neighbor! Let's bring her inside! Oh no! Oh my goodness! Let me see her! You want to hold her? Oh my god. <laughs> Look how happy Elle is. Oh my gosh. Oh my sweetie. Look at her <gasps> outfit. She has blue eyes. Let me see. Oh my gosh, she has blue eyes. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Let me see, oh let me see. Tell, tell her to look up. Look up. <gasps> oh Hi, my gosh. <laughs> Ella, is she cute? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she is the cutest. Is she falling asleep? She had a long night. Honey, huh? Were you scared? Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> Look at you two. Did you like her? Yeah. Oh, you gave her a basito. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. You gotta be really careful with her. Look, she's trying to explore. Look, she's trying to figure out where she's at. Look. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh. She's tired. Be very gentle. Tight. Are you happy so we found her? Tight. What, you want to take her outside? Yeah. <laughs> so the neighbors just had her the whole time or what? All right, so let me just gather myself so I can explain to you guys. So... We were literally about to head out, like we were about to leave the house, and we noticed that our neighbors were coming towards our house with like a little white dog. We didn't notice her. And so grandma opens the door, she goes outside, and then the neighbors had the dog, which we were already expecting. And so um, I went out there and I grabbed her, and the neighbors said that basically what happened was last night they heard her crying in the box, and they just grabbed her and put her in their house because like we have a lot of coyotes and stuff in the neighborhood. So they did a good deed. That was like probably the best thing they could have done is grab the dog and bring her in the house. So that's what happened. And then they just brought her back. Oh, she's so tired. <laughs> you want to put her on the ground, Elle, so she can walk? Yeah. yeah. Okay, put her on the ground. Got her, Elle? Good yeah. job. Yeah. Good Yay. job. Yay. Oh, Where's she oh. going? Oh, no. Underneath the couch. She's probably scared. Oh, she's scared, Elle. Elle, be careful, my love. What is her shirt? Hold her, hold her, hold her. You got her. You got her. Good, good. Oh, good job, Elle. Be careful, my love. Be careful. <laughs> you gonna take care of her? Be careful. Try, try. You wanna take her outside? Yeah. Why? She has to go poo poo and pee? Okay. Careful, make sure the concrete's not hot. Is the concrete hot? No. What does her outfit say? Happy, Happy girls are the prettiest. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah, put her over here in the shade. Oh my goodness. I'm scared to like touch her because I feel like I'm gonna start sneezing and itching my eyes. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Should we take a little shirt off? It's hot. You wanna take a shirt off, Elle? Yeah. No. Should, no, 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 not yours. Sure. Should we take the dog shirt off? The dog yeah. has a shirt. You gonna take it off? <laughs> She's so cute. Yay! Oh, look at her! <laughs> She's already shedding like crazy. She's so soft. Hi. She's trying to play, look! Nala. Look, 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 look! Come on, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, go run, Elle, run! She's coming for you! She's coming! Go, go. Run! She's coming for you! Run, run, run! <laughs> 
Oh, she's doing pee pee. Uh oh. Yay! Good job. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I think she's trying to find another spot. To pee. She's coming. She's coming for you. She's coming. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, this has been a very stressful morning for us. As you can see, I didn't get to finish my sleep. And now that we found the dog, thank God, we are a little more at ease. But we are just confused on what to do. This little puppy, Nala, I think is her name, just came to our doorstep and we were not expecting this at all. Um, she doesn't even have food or a kennel and everything else that a dog needs. So I think I'm gonna just run to the store really quick and grab her a few things. Um, what do you think, Bebe? Yeah, she needs food. <laughs> I'm allergic! Don't touch me, I'm allergic! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna run to the store really quick and grab a few things. We've never owned a dog before, so I'm gonna try my best to get a few items that I think that uh, she needs as of right now. So I'll be back. Daddy's here. Uh, huh? You need help? Oh, I got it. I see you, baby. Alright, so I think I got enough stuff. Jeez. Today, you got least. everything. Alright, so I got her some treats. I'm gonna give her some treats. Got our little. Oh, I thought it squeaked. It's a little play ball. Here. Here you go. I also got a little tray for some food and water. Let's put some water in there and some ice. Mm -hmm. Got our kennel. Got our little. Oh, she already enjoys this right here. She Aww. appreciates this little soft furry. We got this to go inside the kennel. And then we got the number one dog food in America right there. How do you know it's the best? Because I had someone help me. Let's get her some water. She seems to be enjoying herself. Mama. Yeah, baby. Mama. You're not eating Mama. those cookies, right? Mama. Yeah, that's a dog cookie. Not for you. Yeah. Nala, here you go. Thirsty? I gave her some water earlier. Water. Yeah, we got her some water. And then she's eating the cookie right now. Um, what else do we need? More. Oh, some more food? a lot. Hey, she's probably starving, okay? <laughs> more, more. No, no, no. Yay, she's eating. Okay, so now what do we do? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Tell her no. It's okay. No, 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 no. All right, guys, so we had a little bit of time to process everything before talking to you guys again. So part of me didn't want to film today at all because it's a very sensitive situation. I don't want to discriminate against any dog breeds, but as you guys know, if we're going to have a dog in our family forever, like a forever dog uh, in our family, it has to feel right. And as you guys know, Austin is allergic to a lot of different dog breeds, and she's definitely one of them. She's a mix between two dogs who are very, very hairy and have a lot of hair and shed a lot. Oh, she about to poop. So, uh-oh. No, 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 no. You gonna go poo-poo? You gonna go outside? Go outside? Shed. Oh, I'm short. Did she bite? No, she didn't bite me. It's okay. Oh, she's just tired. She wants to take a nap. So anyways, like I was saying, Austin's allergies are affecting him already. Are you itchy? He's been itchy all morning. A little morning. bit. Um, but it's okay. So, as you guys know, a dog is a very, very big responsibility, so we're gonna spend the, the whole entire day, probably the next couple of days, tending to the dog, and we didn't wanna like keep that away from you guys and then keep you guys in the dark and not 
tell you exactly what's going on because you wouldn't probably see any videos because we do have to put our 100% attention on this puppy. So yeah, we're just gonna keep you guys updated and see what happens. Um, I don't know. It's hard when you're not expecting something, especially not a dog because a dog is like a person. It's like a baby. No, literally. Like another child. Yeah, it really is. We really, 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 really want a dog, but it just has to feel right. So. And like you said, it has to be the right dog because this little princess over here, she's gonna grow up and be huge. And as of right now, we are looking for more of a smaller dog. I've had big dogs my whole life. I've had a Weimaraner, a Mastiff, Neapolitan Mastiff. Um, and then I've had a Shih Tzu, which is a lot smaller. And the dog cannot shed. Guys, I don't want to be itching every day, sneezing every day, breaking out every day. Like, we That's don't just... want the dog to affect us. We want the dog to just feel right and literally just be able to hold it and hug it and sleep with it in the bed. And, like, we just want to feel... <laughs> really comfortable with the dog and I'm just looking at her and I'm like oh my god she's so cute I really want her but I don't know what to do another thing is like I don't want to be selfish and like we want to do things for the right reasons like we don't want to keep a dog just because she's cute like it's not about like what the dog looks like it's more about like what fits us what fits, us, what fits our family what's not going to affect us negatively I don't want to feel like a burden and she's the cutest little thing I've ever seen and I just want to keep her and we might just keep her actually <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Elle is obsessed with her Like super obsessed And it's only been a couple of hours <sighs> Well Ace family You will hear from us in the next 24 hours We're gonna sleep on it And we will keep you guys updated Nala we'll Say goodbye to Ace family